Welcome back to Ghost Pirate Entertainment. I'm your host, Kanan Becker, and today I give you 10 more recommendations on Amazon Prime. And let's get to the list. What are you? Run Sweetheart Run is a 2020 supernatural horror movie directed by Shauna Festi and stars Ella Belinska and Pilo Azbak. What starts out as an innocent date turns into a night of terror for Sherry when her date hunts her down and tries to kill her. She must now run for her life through the city to escape his grasp. I thought you would appreciate the best sushi in LA. One drink. So I recently heard some good things about this movie, so I decided to give it a look. And I was pleasantly surprised. This is not a perfect movie. And it won't be for everyone. Some people are going to pick it apart, kind of like people always do, and not enjoy it. But for me, there were a few holes in the plot. There were some kind of weird choices. But in general, I thought it was really unique, creative, and a very fun movie. I really enjoyed the stylish way that it was shot and the look and lighting. The fact that the whole movie is at night and you see the cityscape and the way that they shoot that just looks beautiful and fascinating. All the actors involved do a great job. It's a quirky movie, but it definitely goes horror and it goes into some crazy wild directions that you don't expect. Either way, this is a fun little gem that I think is being overlooked on Amazon Prime and one you definitely should check out. All that is left is to make him. Gretel and Hansel is a 2020 dark fantasy horror movie directed by Oz Perkins with a screenplay by Rob Hayes. It stars Sophia Lillis, Sam Leakey, and Alex Craig. This is a fantastic movie. It's gorgeous, atmospheric, and creepy as all hell. I'm surprised it still doesn't get enough attention. It kind of came out at a bad time right before the pandemic. And so it's really flown under the radar because I've only heard a few people talking about it. And that's really a shame because this is wonderfully done. It takes this old fairy tale of Hansel and Gretel that we all grew up with and really kind of takes it back to its roots, makes it much more disturbing, creepy, and dark as fuck. Look, it smells of cake. But if you're into witchy, dark, Twisted horror movies, you can't go wrong with this little gem. I highly, highly recommend it. Good evening, Inspector. Hannibal Rising is a 2007 psychological thriller directed by Peter Weber and stars Gaspard Uel, Gong Li, and Dominic West. So this is the beginning of the Hannibal Lecter story. It shows where he began and what created and turned him into this monster that we know and love. The story begins with him witnessing the violent deaths of his parents at the end of World War II. So he flees to Paris where he begins to learn and hone his skills to exact revenge. Recall the events that led to your family's murder. So if you're a fan like I am of Silence of the Lambs and all the other Hannibal films, this is a must see because it's a prequel. It shows where it all began and it's fantastically done. It gets so warped, so disturbing, 
absolutely twisted. It really leans into the bizarre and disturbed elements too. You see some grotesque stuff, but even more than that, just the concept, the idea, some of the things you don't exactly see, but you know happen. So it has all that, but it also has a really well done story with solid acting. This is a movie that you never hear people talk about and it surprises me because I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. So you should definitely add this one to your list. I don't know what's going on in my head, what's real and what's not. No, this isn't real. What is happening? Shrooms is a 2007 horror movie directed by Patty Bronick and written by Pierce Elliott. It stars Lindsay Hahn, Jack Huston, and Max Cash. The plot follows a group of American students and their English guide who are stalked by a serial killer while out in the woods looking for psilocybin mushrooms. So, a shroom trip has to be outdoors, the right environment with the right people. Are you sure this is a good time to go looking for mushrooms? No better, we'll have the whole park to ourselves. So I've heard of this movie for years. I see it every time I look through these different streaming services because it's available on a lot of them, or at least regularly available. And it just, I don't know, the cover doesn't look great. The name itself, I thought it was gonna be cheesy. I knew it was about you know a group of friends out in the woods looking for mushrooms and stalked by a serial killer. That's all I knew is what I just read, that, that premise, right? So I thought by that it's gonna be these cheesy mid early 2000s you know, kind of low budget, just not well acted, just not very good movie. I even went as far as to start it one time. And as it's setting it up, I'm like, yeah, it's basically this cheesy, not the greatest acting, early 2000s slasher. So I turned it off, but I've had a few of you guys mention it to me and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna give this a fair shot. I'm gonna actually give it a shot and try to watch it. And I'm not gonna lie, I was really surprised. This movie is actually really good because once it gets into it, and once the actual story and the scenario is set up, which is a little bit, you know, you gotta be patient for the first 20 minutes, but then once it gets into it, this movie is actually really well done. The way they shoot it to make you feel like you're on a mushroom trip, or at least the characters in the movie are on this and being stalked by someone they don't know is really cool. Like, you're really never sure of what you're seeing, if what you're seeing is the hallucinations or is actually happening. And through the whole movie, they keep you guessing with that. And they show some really cool imagery, really twisted, dark, a little bit witchy. It goes much more into that witchy kind of element than a psychedelic, like colorful trip. It gets gory and graphic and pretty fucking savage at times as well. It takes some really interesting twists, especially at the end that I did not see coming. And I'm surprised, honestly, I'm very surprised I'm gonna say this, but I really do highly, highly recommend this movie. The plot's about a sheriff of a small Utah town who's investigating a series of horrific murders that are seemingly committed by a werewolf. This was the surprise movie for me of 2020 because I heard nothing about it until it was already out, especially because it's 2020, you know, and I watched it, didn't expect much of anything and was blown away. This movie is so much better than I ever expected. And it's also one that really flies under the radar. It's well acted, directed, it looks fantastic. It has lots of surprises in it, stuff you will not see coming because every time in this movie, you think you know what's going on, it takes another twist and you're on the opposite side going, okay, well maybe it's this. It's also gory and straight up horror as well. And I promise you'll be surprised by the ending of this. I had a blast with this movie and I definitely recommend you check it out. Let my mother go. You'll burn. The Devil Inside is a 2012 found footage supernatural horror movie. Directed by William Brent Bell, it stars Fernanda Andrade, Simon Quartermain, and Evan Helmsmith. It's done in a documentary style about a woman who gets involved with a series of exorcisms during her quest to discover what happened to her mother. My mother murdered three people. 
She had committed these murders during an exorcism exorcism performed on her. This is one of those movies that back when it came out, it absolutely floored me. This is one of the best found footage movies I've ever seen. It's one of the scariest, creepiest, one of the most well done. It's a movie that was really talked about at the time, but unfortunately it's kind of faded away. You don't hear a lot of people talk about it anymore. And so the reason it's on here is I'm assuming most people my age have seen this. If you're into horror, you've probably seen it. But for the younger crowd, for those of you that are younger, you know, 20 and under, you probably haven't heard of this. So I love the idea of you guys getting to be scared by this movie and shocked by this movie and surprised by this movie the way that we all were 10 plus years ago. No matter what, if you're into found footage, you can't go wrong with this. If you enjoy that documentary style where you pretty quickly get absorbed into it and really feel like you're watching a real documentary, like as above, so below style, then I think you'll definitely dig this movie. No matter what, no matter who you are, no matter what kind of horror you're in, to. This is an enjoyable watch and one you absolutely need to add to your list. This is life and death on another level. What if I'm getting it all wrong? All the good girls go to hell. St. Maud is a 2019 British psychological horror movie. Written and directed by Rose Glass in her feature directorial debut, it stars Morphid Clark and Jennifer Eel. The story follows Maud, a hospice nurse, and a recent convert to Roman Catholicism. She becomes obsessed with a former dancer in her care and believes she must save her soul by any means necessary. It takes nothing special to mop up after the dying. You're prettier than the last one. But to save a soul, that's quite something. Bless Amanda's body and bless her mind, which is shrouded in darkness. So one of the main reasons that I put this on this list, besides that it's a well done, fantastic, creepy, dark, disturbing movie, is that I think it goes great with the devil inside. So I think this would make for a great double feature because they're very different, but they have the same roots, so to speak. They're both seeped in that Catholic, that dark, oppressive Roman Catholic, I don't wanna just say Catholic, but the dark, oppressive side of Roman Catholicism, the extremist side. I'm not saying all Catholics are like this because my family, I have family members that are Catholic. They're not all this way. Just an exclaimer right there. And I'm not trying to pass judgment on anyone. This is entertainment but they just both have that kind of thing going on. And so I think they go really well together. On top of that, even by itself, this movie is amazing. The performance by Morphe Clark is so well done, so fantastic, and so believable. This movie has some wild moments that'll leave your jaw on the ground, but especially the ending of this. This is one of those endings that just burns itself into your brain and sticks with you long after you've seen it. This is really a slow burn though. You gotta stick with it, but it's a fantastic movie and one you definitely, I think it's honestly, I think it's a must that you check this out. Pitch Black is a 2000 sci-fi action thriller directed by David Twahey and stars Vin Diesel, Radha Mitchell, Cole Hauser, and Keith David. A dangerous criminal named Riddick is being transported to prison in a spacecraft. When comet debris damages and causes the craft to crash land on an empty desert planet, he is able to escape into the dark, but there's more than him lurking in the shadows. If the man is gone, he's gone. Why should he bother us? Maybe to take what you got. Maybe to work your nerves. Is he really that dangerous? Only around humans. This has been one of my favorite movies for so long. And it's amazing to me that this movie came out 22 years ago, but I've loved it ever since I first saw it. There's just something about it. The way they portray the dark, the creatures involved, the bombastic over the top performances by all the characters. Vin Diesel is just such a badass in this. And this is really what put him on the map. This is where we all discovered him and he was able to go on to become, you know, the star that we know today. 
but there's also some really interesting ideas here. Some really unique visuals as well as concepts and ideas. Very, very sci-fi, but it also has some really twisted horror elements about it as well. Like just not knowing what's in the dark and the way all that's done. This movie's a lot of fun and one I absolutely recommend. I want to go home. That's nature. That's just the way things are. Vivarium is a 2019 sci-fi thriller directed by Laura Can Finnegan from a story by Finnegan and Garrett Shanley. It stars Imogen Poots and Jesse Eisenberg. The film follows a couple that is forced to care for a child while trapped in a seemingly perfect neighborhood. It's not exactly what we're looking for. Wait, no, no, I don't think this is the right way. Yeah, this is the way we came in. No, is it? Did we just do some kind of loop? This movie is so weird, bizarre, and twisted. It really stuck with me. The way it's so clean, like overly clean, everything is perfect, like too perfect. It throws some very bizarre imagery, and as it goes, it gets more and more wild, more and more over the top, just demented, twisted, like a horrific nightmare. This movie isn't straight up horror, but it definitely has its creepy, disturbing elements, and for me personally, it was more haunting than a lot of other movies I've seen. This one's really flying under the radar and one I think is absolutely worth your time. I'm not dying in this room with you! Come on, come on. I'm not dying! Come on, come on. I think she's gone. Ginger Snaps is a 2000 Canadian supernatural horror movie. Directed by John Fawcett and written by Karen Walton, the film stars Emily Perkins and Kathleen Isabel. The story's about two teenage sisters whose relationship is tested when one of the sisters is attacked and bitten by an unknown animal. Let's get out of here. <laughs> big dog maybe so one of my absolute favorite kind of movies is werewolf movies sadly there's just not a lot of them and the ones that are out there are not great there's only a few that are really really good but this is one that is definitely up there for me i'm not saying this is my number one but it's definitely up there i've rewatched this movie countless times and every time i pick out something more that i really enjoy about it the hidden message and meaning and real story behind this is what's so fascinating about it because it's really about coming of age and the struggle we all go through but especially from the woman's point of view and as a man it's something i'll never really understand but I found this extremely fascinating because of that. It's well written, but it also has fantastic performances by this cast. It also gets gnarly and gory and goes some places you're definitely not gonna expect. This is a movie that I'm expecting most of you have seen, but like I said, this is a movie that I find new things every time I watch it, so I recommend it as a great rewatch. But if you've never seen it, it absolutely needs to be at the top of your list. It's a great movie for your Saturday night. So grab your popcorn and your candy and enjoy! I want to give a huge, massive, enormous thank you to my patrons because you guys, you ever-growing army, mean so so much to me. And if you'd like to find out more about how to become a part of this ghost pirate army, there's a link down in the description. And like always, thank you so much for watching. Please crush that like button. And remember guys, horror can be fun. I will see you guys next time. Click right here for 10 more recommendations. And I'll see you all in the next video. And the next video, and the next video, and the next video, and the next video.